<laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> I think I need a bit more practice. <laughs> On the piano, you can slightly hide away a bit more than you can do singing. But, but no, actually, my children probably wouldn't forgive me. I'm not sure if they think I've got a particularly good singing voice. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, Thank you for all the super thanks, the super chats. Thanks for the donations to the channel. Um, I've got something came to my attention about the documentary. No, it's not even a documentary. That's a show, because a documentary has to have at least some sort of um, based on true and reality. And this is not even perceived reality. This is what people it gets to me. Oh, this is their truth. This is what they perceive. I know that in some instances, we may perceive things differently, but Harry and Meghan are outright lying, okay? And people say that, uh, people have told me, well, they have a right to, to hire paps. I don't, of course, everybody does. Well, if they use that defense for Meghan, why can't they use that defense for Mr. Markle? Why are they condemning Mr. Markle for the very same thing that Meghan is allowed to do? I think that's hypocrisy. Um, so nobody's saying that she's not allowed to do that. But if she's, again, if she's allowed to do it, why can't, why can't Mr. Markle, why did she condemn Mr. Markle about taking pictures of himself, of himself, um, trying to present a better image of what had been presented out in the public, you know? But I don't have a problem with that. The problem I have is that they are, purposely slandering and lying about other people and accusing other people of what they do while claiming that they don't do that. It's others. It's like, you know, a thief who said, you know what, it's not me who, it's, the other, it's that guy who stole. Harry has basically accused his brother of being a bully and his father of being a liar. Apparently he's Saint Harry and she's Saint Meghan to the point that somebody came out and knelt before her like the queen that she thinks she's not. And I mean, this is why karma is terrible because Prince Charles did the same thing to the queen in 1994. He did a book, he did a documentary, he did an interview, whatever you want to call it, where he trashed the queen, her work, her, his own father, everything when the queen was about to make a historic thing, a historic trip to Russia. And all the newspapers, it's too bad you guys can't remember. But now karma is getting him back. Look who's there. Now karma is getting him back. Karma is getting him back. But I feel bad for him. Not for him per se. I feel bad for William and, and Catherine because they don't deserve the lies. You know, I'm not saying that King Charles deserves it, but it's kind of a little bit like a payback. Whereas Prince William and Catherine, who've been nothing but nice to Harry and Meghan, have been slandered and lied about. Okay? Um, so with that, I have a problem. I have a problem with that, that, that they know that they're lying. Harry knows that he's lying. Make no mistake about it. Harry knows what he's doing. And do you remember when they did that New York thing when they got that fake humanitarian award? And I told you, I, I posted a little video, the clip of him when he's been asked questions. And he goes, oh, so many questions. He doesn't have a look of embarrassment. He has a look of glee. That's the word that I, he's euphoric. He's on that stage with Meghan Markle saying that he idolizes her. He's euphoric. He's the center of attention. With Harry, it's not about money. It's about being the main person. So people draw my attention that apparently Prince King Charles don't want, doesn't want to act because they don't want to turn Meghan into a fabulous widow. widow. <sighs> to be a fabulous widow, Meghan Markle would have to be fabulous to begin with. So... I mean, just right there, it, it, that, that, that doesn't apply to her. She could never be a fabulous widow because she would have to be a fabulous human being to begin with. So that right there is out of the picture. 
So basically what people are saying is we're going to give Harry a free pass to try. I mean, how much of a free pass are people going to give Harry for him to continue damaging not only the, his family members, but the monarchy and the Commonwealth? How, how much of a pass just because, oh, they're fear that his fragile mental health state. He, Harry does not have a fragile mental health state at all. He, what he has is a huge ego, just like Meghan Markle. They just compare themselves. Meghan Markle just said that she was thanked for her service like the Queen did for 70 years. And that Harry saying that, you know, him and Meghan were the best things since Coca-Cola, basically. And that they would have continued to work for the Commonwealth, that racist institution. So many things that are wrong. He says that when he went to Sandringham, he was given five options, but he, then he, he, he said he picked number three and everybody panicked. He wasn't given five options. He was given two, you're in or out. The monarchy is a serious institution. It's not a McDonald's where you can work part-time because, because of the privileges and the perks you get from being part of the monarchy and because it is a completely different animal. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's to serve. This is not to commercialize. It's to serve. When you go and you know about King Charles dancing in that mos mosque or uh, the Duchess of Cambridge or the Countess of Wessex, you know Princess Diana was excellent about that. You know, and there are many people here who trash Princess Diana. You, come, you have come to the wrong channel, okay? Because a person can become something because of the circumstances, which is what happened to her. She had to learn to be, a, she had to learn to be a shark to swim about among char sharks. But Princess Diana was never an anti-royalist. And as she said, why would I want to destroy something that my son is going to be part of? You know, she, and pr many people can say anything about Princess Diana, but she loved, she loved going out meeting people. She loved doing her duty. He lo she loved doing her job. She didn't moan about it. She didn't bitch about it. She was all wet with her. I remember the, the, um, when she was pregnant. Meghan is trying to, to repeat Princess Diana's narrative. Oh, I was pregnant. I wasn't doing this. And I Princess Diana was actually almost grabbed by a man. You know, Princess Diana was grabbed by a man while she was doing a walkabout. Phoenix proved he knows how to greet a royal when giving Prince William a curtsy during a friendly chat at the BAFTAs, a moment we're not getting over anytime soon. And what did she do? Her bodyguards interfered, <laughs> sitting. Her bodyguards interfered, and she continued her walkabout. You never heard a bitch about that. Even Prince Charles was shot at. He just continued. The queen was shot at. Just recently, this guy... You know this guy that was arrested because he had a bow and arrow and he wanted to, to, to kill the queen? You know what the queen said? That would have been an, uh, you know, a bummer for Christmas, something like that. So for people who are telling me that Harry should not be held accountable because they're afraid that he's going to kill himself, he's not going to kill himself. This is the man who's enjoying the attention. He loves the attention, just like when Meghan said that she wanted to kill herself, which we know is bullshit because she's trying to mimic everything about Princess Diana. Oh, remember when Princess Diana said that she was really sick and she had to, to work and she, how she put the, 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 the crying thing and then she just got out, you know? It was overwhelming for her because she was 19, almost, I think, just 20. Meghan Markle is a 36-year-old attention-seeking whore who had at least three PR agencies when she was a nobody trying to be promoted like crazy. She was not suffering being before the crowds. She was, that, that was her fuel, being in front of the crowds. It is her fuel. She loves watching herself. She loves the attention, you know? So for people who are coming here and say, we should not hold Harry accountable, we should not strip him of the titles, because he said that they offered and they were insulted that that was out in the news. Yeah, because Meghan leaked it. All the leaks, like Shallon Lester said, are Meghan Markle. And he's an imbecile. And he knew. And, and you know what's terrible? That we want to blame Meghan Markle. We know. We know that Harry, on that email to, to Jason Kanoff, was saying, yeah, because he was saying, I'd advise that Meghan talks directly to her friends about talking to People Magazine, pretty much, because you, we have to have hand and heart, on heart, the night that, we, that you guys had any contact. And Harry said, yeah, yeah, please do that, because that's actually a good idea, because then we, ha we have to be able to say we didn't do it. 
They were the ones doing all the leaks. Prior to Megan, there were no leaks. Everybody was protecting everybody. You know? So, so what if he kills himself? What if he kills himself? I'm asking, honestly, what if he kills himself? Or we should just, I hope he doesn't, but you know, being held accountable for your own actions and consequences. And the same thing goes for Meghan Markle. Because you see, nobody's talking about Meghan Markle's mental health that if she's held accountable and exposed, you know, she's going to kill herself. Because she's another narcissistic person who's never going to kill herself. You know, she reminds me of a lady who, I think I've talked about this. I used, uh, she used to be married to one of my uncles. He divorced her ass. I mean, the threats. Oh, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to kill myself. And I remember when my uncle finally dumped her, she came crying to my grandpa. And, and she's like, oh, Don Ramiro, I'm going to kill myself. You know, she threw herself on the ground. And, I mean, it was horrible. And she was a very horrible person. So what? I feel horrible horrible for this gentleman i found out that this gentleman called twitch i actually liked him very much he he looked like a gentle soul you know he's a dancer apparently he was a dj on ellen but i didn't know that you know i used to follow him on tiktok him and his wife and the dances and i believe it or not i try to do the dance routines i was actually quite shocked when i did my life with uh tummy yucky and and i read in one of the comments that this gentleman had killed himself uh, that was really terrible. I, I, that I feel sad about because he looked like a nice, very, I mean, you, you never know. But, you know, you can see it in the face. Harry's face, like Megan's, looks, um, looks dirty. The eyes are not clean. I don't know how to explain it, you know. For example, Princess Diana's eyes, uh, they look clean. I don't know how to explain it. They, they don't have that lascivious evil look it's 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 different prince william the way he looks straight at you you know megan is cr I, i'm trying to be crossing that's megan no but she looks at you like expressions that you know she's trying to imitate diana so much i mean because that's basically the whole thing imitating Princess Diana. But Princess Diana loved the monarchy. And she worked her ass off. She would go to the opening of an envelope if she had to. She, she loved, even, even when she didn't have to go, she went there on her own. Meghan Markle is trying to say, oh, the Grenfell Tower I went there for nine months. How could she have gone for nine months when she was hardly ever in the United Kingdom? When she wrote that nasty letter to her father, she was in Toronto, Canada in August. In one of her four visits that she did privately when she didn't have a passport. This is without counting the two trips that we know of to Italy. One to George Clooney's mansion on a private, all of them in private planes, right? right? And then to a wedding. Then we have Amsterdam. Then we have Norway. Then we have the Canada. I mean, this Ibiza. I mean, nonstop, nonstop. So for people who are concerned about Harry, don't be concerned about him. And just to clarify something, he never qualified as an Apache air pilot, uh, uh, helicopter pilot. He qualified as a co-pilot, a gunner for a helicopter Apache because it's a special type of machinery where he has to shoot. You know, he shoots a special machinery, but he's not himself an Apache pilot. So quit that. I, I am getting fed up because before all, oh, we don't want to take the titles away because the king can't, the monarch can't. And now these very same people who were putting out that false narrative, claiming to be experts for more than a year and a half, and were calling me crazy, when the queen died, they, these same people came and said, oh yeah, the monarch with, with a stroke of a pen or just by saying it can give an honorary title or take it away. So, and I've been saying that, me and Bookie have been saying that all along. Parliament had answered that all along, which is why we have that bill for remo title, re removal of titles. Because they know that they can't do anything because it's up to the monarch to remove the titles. It doesn't need an act of Parliament. Because it is an honorary title, it doesn't affect any bills in Parliament. Because those are for, for the monarch to give. You know, just like the Order of the Garter that the Queen gives, you know, that's something completely honorary and up to the queen to give it and up to the queen to take it away <laughs> or the monarch, sorry. 
So do you guys honestly think that Megan would make a fabulous widow? That Megan would be, why? Why would she be a fabulous widow? You need to be a fabulous person and she's not. And should we be held hand ransom? An entire commonwealth of nations, should, should we be held ransom to Harry's non-frail mental health state just because we don't want him to throw a tantrum? That's what it really boils down to. That, God forbid, we make Harry and Meghan accountable for their actions. God forbid we, we, we make men accountable for their actions. She got scot free with perjury in the United Kingdom. She got out scot free. I'm really looking forward to that documentary of Thomas Markle and Samantha Markle's, um, Samantha Markle's uh, lawsuit with Megan because a lot of stuff is going to come out even more. But what do you guys think? Should we be, be held hand, ransom? And another question, this is going to be for the next video because I found out some information about Doria and I'm going to be talking about it next video. So Doria, and I've said it before, she, the only reason why now she's claiming to have raised Megan is to give Megan credibility as a black woman. I don't know what this world's coming to.